Anyway... So, <laughs> all righty. Nine ghosts reported to haunt Disney parks. From urban legends to actual events in the park's history. Let's get to it. <laughs> I've never been to Dollywood Park, so... Nah, i, I never been to Dollywood I heard it's like really nice Dollywood theme park, which is owned by Dolly Parton. Yeah, oh, that's good. I, I I like to see. I seen video of Dollywood, <clears throat> and it looks like a really cool park and really like family friendly park. Like, it's not about glitz and you know you know, glamour and all that. It's like a theme park. It's like an old-fashioned theme park. Yeah, i seen, like, the uh, Dollywood Park. i seen, like, the One Ride, which is on Travel Channel, <clears throat> where it goes, like, really fast, and, um, like, when it rains, it goes, boom, like, really fast downhill. Which gives it like that extra speed, and I was just like, that, that is awesome. Hold on, I'm gonna open my window. It's kind of dark in here. <laughs> so, hold on. And let there be light. Okay. The worst thing about it is going to be glare on the screen. <laughs> so. I admit the castle there is really nice. At Disney. It's very beautiful. I think it's... I forget which one it is. I think it's Cinderella Castle. California, I think. Anyway, in 1955... Something spectacular happened. Disneyland opened in Anaheim, California, forever changing the face of amusement parks in America. Given its long and storied history... Of course, there has been ex expected that over the years, rumors of ghosts allegedly haunting Disney, as well as Walt Disney World, for all the other Disney properties have been open. <laughs> like someone is like really excited about this article. Inadvertently, over decades, would have become rather... Interesting, indeed. The stories are deliciously spooky. <laughs> What's deliciously spooky? In a, you know, article. Even if not all of them are true. In fact, we began properly introducing the most stories that fascinate all. Dolly, number one. <laughs> Speaking of Dolly... <laughs> Even though I'm pretty sure this ghost story itself is maybe an urban legend, but there is some really sad history behind this one. 
In 1984, Renee Young, also known as Dolly, fell from her seat riding the Matherthron, Matterthron, sorry, Matterthron. Oh, sorry, Matterhorn. Someone put a T in that word, so Matterhorn at Disneyland and was killed when she was struck by an oncoming bobsled. Holy shit. Her seatbelt was unbuckled. How the fuck was her seatbelt unbuckled? Anyway. But we do not know, rather, if she undid it herself or it was a result of something else. These days, cast members claim to have felt like someone is was someone was watching them during the routine walkthrough of the ride and conducted at the end of the day. The area is tracked where Young died is now known as Dolly's Dip. Holy shit, they named a ride after her? Number two, Walt Disney. Would you imagine, like, if you die somewhere and someone, like, named it after you? Like, would you imagine? I would come back and haunt them, too. It's like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Walt Disney. If you are very well versed in the Disney lore, unfortunately I am not, <laughs> you're probably already aware of the fact that the apartment above the firehouse on Main Street in Disneyland during the construction of the park, which began in 1954, opened following the year later in 1955. Walt Disney, the man himself, wanted a place to stay on the property. It wasn't large. It was a 500 square feet, but it was convenient for those late nights and early morning where Walt oversees the Disneyland dream coming true you can tour it now if you like in recent years the apartment was open backed up again for those who chose a spring for some of the behind the scene tours the park's office the park offer sorry as a tribute a light was always left on in the apartment front window but according to legend, it wasn't always that case. It is said that one day a cast member looking after the park tried to turn off the light. Before leaving, however, she became she came back later. The light was on again, according to one version. She actually left the building and noticed a light upstairs and went back up to turn off the light. And went back downstairs and noticed it again, even unplugged the lamp. To only find it, you guessed it, on again. When she went downstairs the last time, she went back up, and there was the light. She said she heard a voice, Walt maybe, saying, I'm still here. The light in the window was reportedly left on ever since. Okay. <laughs> that is the weirdest story I have ever heard. Like, if I was haunting a place, I'd be like, you turn that light back on, I'll kill you. <laughs> That's how I would be, like. <laughs> well, man, they even got a photo of it. That's creepy. There's this one story that is so creepy. They even got a photo from the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> so, anyway. I know one thing that's pretty funny is I've been getting a lot of people on the messages on the show's Twitter. Uh, people talking about. The one episode. <clears throat> involving. 
video games. Um, please stop sending messages of video game suggestions. I beg of you. I, I really don't want any more <laughs> suggestions of a game. And I'll admit, I... I did. I did start. I did download a game that someone sent, saying I should try it because I talked about. I mentioned that Game of Thrones. Someone sent a game saying, "If you love Game of Thrones, you'll like this one." And I'm thinking, "Oh God!" <laughs> I didn't want to be rude, but I was just like, "Shit, I don't want to play it." But it, I started playing it. And it's not that bad, actually. It's it's very interesting. But at the same time, kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to continue it. The game is called Long Live the Princess, which is, you guess that you play a medieval, you play a knight, a guy who's trying to, um, find his place in the world. And he meets this pixie named Bella or Belle sorry Belle and she brings him to a witch called the crone and the witch goes I'll make a deal with you you flirt with this princess you try to get her secrets and I'll give you all the power I don't know what the fuck the story is but it's and you find out your sister in the game. It's not really your sister. And then you become lovers. And it's like really fucking weird. <laughs> and. Like throughout this whole game. It's like. It's like Game of Thrones. Like everything about it. It's like. Game of Thrones. And it's like really weird. And shit. So. Uh, I played it. It's not bad. Um. I know there's a Patreon, and the cr- the creator of the game doesn't know I'm talking about it, so um, don't send him a message saying, Josh7, talk about your game. But, you know, if you like it, then by all means, play it. Uh, it's on Patreon slash long, patreon.com slash princess. The creator's known as Bell. And you can download the game. The public version is free. And the next update will be on the October 5th, which also means the next public update for 024.1 will be October 5th. So check out their game. It's not bad. I, I actually enjoyed it. It's kind of interesting story, but at the same time, it's kind of like, not bad. Yeah, so... Um, for whoever sent the suggestion of the game, thanks. I'm now playing it, so... Um, will I do a review of it? Probably. I don't know. But anyway. So, for those who are like sending suggestions... Um, I am not playing the one game called Lewd Island. So, fuck no to that. Stop sending me messages to play this game. And for God's sakes, I am not playing a game called Foot on the Mountains. Or... What's the other fucking game they sent? View of the Family. And my dog's barking. Or... This other game, Main Sit. Or dating my daughter. I am not fucking playing that game. Or Mythic Manor. So stop sending me suggestions of games to play. Because I ain't playing them. So anyway. I'll be right back. I'm going to see what she's barking at. It's probably the neighbors again. So um, anyway. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to talk about the next story. Which is the Haunted Mansion. The boy. And the boy in the Haunted Mansion in California. Park. And... The last game I am not playing again. This next one is really weird. 